Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to flash your generator. What I mean by flashing your generator is to get it to produce power again. And the reason you may want to do this is because sometimes when you put away a generator and you go to use it again, it may not produce power. All I'm going to be using to do this today is a drill. And I'll be doing this today on a Briggs and Stratton generator. It's a 6200 watt generator. Now I'm not quite sure why this one here loses its power once it's been stored for a while. It's a brushless generator so it's kind of rare that this happens to those. With the older generators that have brushes it was quite common to have to flash them to get them going. So what I'm going to do now is just start it up. You're going to see at the meter here that there is no indication of any power being produced. I will plug in the drill here and you're going to see that it does not work. After that, I'm going to shut down the generator and flash it and then see how the power is after that. So you can clearly see it's not producing power at this point. Just leave the drill plugged in. Make sure the breaker is in the on position. And earlier you couldn't see any numbers here and that was indicating that it was not producing power. So now what I'm going to do with the drill once the generator started again is hold the trigger wide open. And then I'm going to grab the chuck and turn it into the reverse position. So I'll just be going like this until it powers up again. Once the power comes back to life in the generator, the drill will start spinning. So remove your hand immediately and then you can release the trigger. It's a good idea to wear gloves when you do this. Now like I mentioned before, it's really rare that I have to flash a generator that is brushless. I'm not sure what's wrong with this one, but it keeps losing its power or its charge. Apparently the people did put in a new AVR inside here and it still did the same thing. So at this point the generator works, but if you put it away for a few days or a few weeks, you do have to reflash it like I did with the drill. So if you do know what's causing this, please comment. Again, it's a Briggs and Stratton Elite Series. Here are the specs on it. And by the way, this generator only has 148 hours. And if you're wondering what this meter's for, what it does is it tells you the percentage of power that you're using. The drill wasn't using enough power, so it was reading zero. It's a really neat thing to have on your generator because it gives you the total percentage of power that you're using. So that's how you can flash your generator guys. Just grab a half inch drill, hold the trigger down and turn the chuck backwards. Make sure to wear gloves when you do this, it's safer. And by the way guys, I did have the drill set to the forward setting when I did this. So thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to bookmark this video so that you can reference it in the future if your generator won't power anymore. It's a very simple thing to do and like I mentioned, a half inch drill is the best tool that I find to do this with. Also guys, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and have yourselves a great day.